Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here at Trinidad actually. I'm here with Sir James. He's going to be my tour guide. So where are we now? Hi, Miss Joy. Good morning. Yeah, so we have arrived at the in the middle of the mountains. Yeah. In the Maracas Valley. Mm -hmm. At a little treasure hidden. You can't see it right now. You just ask where are we? Yeah. It's hidden right in the mountains over there. It's called Yaret yeah. Hummingbird House. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go up to the Yaret Hummingbird House yeah. and meet Dr. Theo. Special joy to welcome you today. Yes, welcome And I understand your name is Joy. Yes. So double joy. Yes, double joy. Yes. <laughs> and you come from Kenya. Yes, from Kenya, Nairobi, Kenya. Nairobi, Kenya. Yes. I have some stories I can give you about Nairobi, but not now. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. This is Yaret. Yeah. Home of the hummingbird. Mm -hmm. And here we have bird that you do not have in Kenya. Mm. The hummingbirds. Yeah. Go all through Kenya, you're not gonna see a little bird. Like I've that. never. Mm. You will not see it anywhere in Africa. Mm -hmm. You're not even gonna see this bird in Europe or anywhere in Asia. It's only in this part of the world. Yeah. These are the smallest birds in the world. Yeah. The busiest birds in the world. The hungriest birds in the world. Mm -hmm. The most aggressive birds in the world. The most acrobatic birds in the world. Mm -hmm. And we have a few here in our garden. Mm -hmm. This bird has a, a powerful, sentimental relationship with this country. Yeah. In Trinidad, they call Trinidad the land of the hummingbird. Okay. The first people of this land was the Amerindians, the indigenous people. Mm. And to these people, these hummingbirds are very sacred. They saw the hummingbirds as the spirits of the dead ancestors, so they gave a sacred name to the land. Airi. Airi. Land of. This word means hummingbird. Yeah. But it's an Amerindian word. And it means land of the hummingbird. So you are in the land of the hummingbird. Wow, I'm blessed. <laughs> yeah, so welcome to the land of the hummingbird. Thank you. That is Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. The name Trinidad and Tobago was yeah. given to us by somebody you might have heard of, mm -hmm. Christopher Colum. You came here now to look for the hummingbird, did you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let us see me. Mm -hmm. We gave a special name to where you are now. We call it Eric. Okay. okay. Yaret is another Amerindian word that means hummingbird. Yeah. So we call here now Yaret, the home of the hummingbird. Yeah, right. Okay. A home I share with a bird. And my wife. I can't forget my wife. Mm -hmm. Amen. How many like how many hummingbirds do you have? How many sites? Okay, in this garden there are hundreds of Hummingbirds, not them thousands. Yeah. In Trinidad and Tobago, we have 19 species. Yeah. But we get as many as 15 in our garden. Yeah. So, and that's one of the reasons why Yaret is a popular place. You mm -hmm. can see many different types of hummingbirds when you visit us. You want to know what food they eat? Yeah. So these yeah. birds feed on nectar, which mm -hmm. they get from the flowers. Yeah. We supplement that nectar, which is what we have in our feeders here. Mm -hmm. So we have nectar, artificial nectar that we make. Yeah. And they get all the insects on their own, that they catch on their own. Okay. So the hummingbirds here are getting a balanced diet. Mm -hmm. I call it the, hummin the hummingbird of Kenya. Yeah, hummingbird of Kenya. So you <laughs> see, you just told me that. <laughs> So that's why I eat a lot. You yeah. see, I was complaining, but yeah. I eat a lot. So I'm eating. hummingbird. Yes. <laughs> Hummingbirds are very therapeutic. They can calm you, relax you, mm -hmm. put you in a nice good mood, take away your stress. 
A lot of people come here to enjoy the energy of this God. Yeah. It's a therapeutic God. Yeah, that's true. We even have medical doctors who send the patients to this place. Just go and relax. Yeah, and you can find yourself being very relaxed while you're here. Yeah, that's true. You can spend some time looking around the garden. You can spend some time looking around the gallery. Um, we're going to do a lunch for you. Mm -hmm. A Trini lunch. Mm -hmm. So you get a chance to eat Trini. a Trini lunch from a home. Yeah. Our home in Trinidad, okay? Oh, thank you. We do a lunch for you. And we do a show on that big screen. Yes. You may not have time to see the whole show, mm -hmm. but I like to do a bit of it for you. Okay. It's something from Trini. I've never tried it, so I'm going to try it today. This is sorrel. Mm -hmm. Sorrel is actually a flower. Mm -hmm. So it gives us nice blossom mm -hmm. and nice yellow pastels, then green flower, and then it, it closes up and mm -hmm. it, it has and the petals are on the hand. Yeah. You break all the petals, take it in there, put it in a pot, and you boil it. You put some cloves, mm -hmm. put a, some uh, cinnamon spice, and get it, it is flavored. Yeah. Right, and you let it boil, and then you let it steep overnight, so you extract all the flavors. Okay. And then you squeeze it out, and it, it will actually pulp. Mm -hmm. The pulse now you can actually make jam with it. Yeah. Sorrel jam. And then you, you add sugar and water and and the syrup ginger? bitters. There's no ginger? There's no jitter. You probably probably need the cinnamon and the clove spices. Those are local spices. Yeah. Right? And you have the sorrel. It's good. It's good. Refreshing. It's good. It's nice. It's good. 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 And this is a good chaser for rum. <laughs> oh gosh, we can nice drink. <laughs> Today, mm. you are starting your first course of meals, mm -hmm. which is a local soup, which we call corn soup. Mm -hmm. We have coconut bake here, mm -hmm. and we have fresh salad. Okay. Right? Yeah. That's your first course or your meal. Okay. And then we'll bring your full lunch. Uh, this is not a full lunch. No. no. Starter. This is starter. What? I'm going to be full. <laughs> I'm going to be full without this before the real meal. So enjoy. Anything I can get going, so enjoy. You guys want to kill me with food. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. You are welcome. Okay. Hi guys, so that was everything that we got for you here in Hummingbird Homes. Hope you enjoyed watching, hope you enjoyed everything that we showed you, everything that you explained. And let me see in the comment let me know in the comment section what you think about the Hummingbird Homes. Thank you.